Yes, sir, this is God's country right here. In memory lane. Of course, had I known I was going to be stopping by here before we left, it'd be like a great place to like have brought some herb and smoke a bomber and sit for like for like an hour. You just have to like balance on. No other tree I've ever been up in though. See the pine cones? This is a pine fucking tree. And it's not covered in sap. The top of it right here. That's the fucking trunk right there. The trunk. Just dead ends right there. In that, uh... Yeah, there'd be a tree fort up here already. It wasn't right next to a parking lot. Did you know I actually built a tree fort? Down, uh... Down there, in that tree in the middle of the green belt, I actually built a tree fort. Really? Before I thought of, yeah. And they tore it down. Tore and down. no, I didn't. I didn't fully build the tree fort. I, uh, I probably got about 33% of the way. I, I got the platforms in in two different areas. The anchors mm -hmm. for the tree, the anchors, and was working on the walls. I was gonna make this. Uh, it was gonna have an elevator. Elevator. <laughs> yeah. I saw this idea in in uh, DuckTales when I was just a stinking little brat, but I remembered this. It was a pulley system, because I remembered it would work. Mm -hmm. It was a floor, like a square in the middle of the, of the floor you stand on, mm -hmm. and uh, a rope that goes up around a pulley, and then the other end of it goes through through a small square, just big enough, big around enough for the rope to go through comfortably, like with a few inches of room uh, on each side of the rope to go through the floor. And then on the end of it was like, uh, like a hundred pounds of rocks. I think I would just t have it be three center blocks, uh, tied carefully to this rope. Actually, it would be three three center blocks sitting on a uh, a small little, like foot by foot square board, mm -hmm. so that they're not pulling on the rope and ripping it. And then on the other end, when you when you stand on the floor up in the tree. That the, that the rope goes up to, goes around a pulley, and then goes down to the middle part of that floor. You stand there, and like anybody that weighs over 100 pounds is gonna go down, but slow, because they weigh, like me, I'm like 130, 140, somewhere between there. Mm -hmm. I'd go down, I, I guess, a mile an hour per pound that I'm over. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's just the first thing that makes sense to me. And then, uh, I'm 40 pounds over 100, so I'd try to have exactly 100 pounds of shit. So it, there would be a warning for fat people on the on the floor. Anybody over 200 pounds is not going to be able to exit the tree unless they're ninjas, or unless they have good body structure, because they'd be falling at about 100 miles an hour. And then, of course, um, pr preferably have one extra person there with you, so that when you hit the ground, the second you step off the board, the board doesn't go flying back up to the tree because you stepped off of it. The the center blocks on the other end are just going to pull that board back up into the tree at a hundred miles an hour or so, and and you could get seriously hurt stepping off that board. Unless you have somebody that's just going to stand there with you, but and then of course the flip side to that would be. Both of your body structures, your bones and shit, have to be good for a pretty serious impact because you'd be hitting the ground at least three times as hard because, well then, of course, you could put more center blocks on the on the platform so that only two people that weren't fat <laughs> could make their way down on that floor and one person stay on there and then as soon as the other person steps off, the other person goes back up into the tree and <laughs> and then there's another elevator for just one person to use 
That'd be how it's really done. There's an elevator for one person to safely get off. And then the most agile, uh, uh, athletic person there would be the person, the one person to stay up in the, go back up into the tree and get off the, off the one person elevator that just has enough cinder blocks for one person. But, but the one person that has to step off the platform fast enough to not get grazed by the platform flying back up into the tree. And I think it would only make the sense, the most sense that that person is the lightest, thinnest, uh, most agile, ninja-like, young son of a bitch there. But yeah, that would be this tree. Because, look at this, you just put like a 2 by 4 from this board, from this branch here over to that branch. And then back over here, because there's all these branches right here to work with. All of the all these branches that are sturdy enough for like a fat ass to be like that far out on the branch and and not have to worry about the branch breaking. And where we are, this is about as high as I fell from when I broke my leg. This is this is probably like uh, two feet closer to the ground than when I fell and broke my leg. Oh yeah. Yeah. And the scars are, let's see, the scars actually heal up pretty nice. This leg had three bone, or bones coming out of it in three areas. Right there, right here. And, and on this side, right there, and then these scars right here are where I have, even I still, to this, to... still to this day, I have two pieces of steel that go from there to there, <laughs> and one in the front right here. This isn't at all what my other foot looks like. My leg on my other foot isn't nearly this big around. Oh. And this leg went through its shit. Uh, what were you saying? How high was the tree that you fell from? It was like two feet higher than this. Well, the tree was higher, but I was about two feet higher than this when I fell. But there weren't branches in the way to the ground. I was just hanging, like dangling with about like between 30 and 35 feet between my feet in the ground and like 43 feet or so from where my hands in the ground were uh, and realizing I didn't have enough strength to continue to hold on to this log that's why I fell I had I had my both arms wrapped around a log oh yeah yeah there weren't small branches like this branch under me broke on my way to the ground, I caught myself on on the log that I was supposed to be sitting on and then realized I'm fucked. Thinking that I was gonna break my back and really considering landing on my head intentionally so that I don't have to continue living as a paraplegic. But I decided just barely that landing on my feet would be a better idea. Yeah. Because I'm thin. And I, my body doesn't weigh so much, so it shouldn't hit the ground that hard, even though that's a long fucking way to have to fall.